Welcome back to my channel, Slay Queens. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to get this glamorous glitter crease cut eye look. Perfect for any occasion or if you just want to go out and slay today. Go ahead and hit that thumbs up and subscribe button and let's begin. To prime, I'm going to be using my Frisoli Rose Elixir Oil. I'm just going to drop a couple of drops on my face and then just begin rubbing it in. And what I love about this oil is that it hydrates your face instantly, but it doesn't make you feel greasy at all. If you haven't gotten your hands on this baby, I highly recommend it. It is the YSL All Hours Foundation, and if you have oily skin, this foundation is perfect for you. I mean, it leaves like a really matte finish, and it's full coverage, and it literally lasts all day, even to the next day. Only thing I would say is YSL only has about two or three ranges for the dark skin girls. So with this foundation color I, I got, it fits um, as perfect as it's gonna get. I know it's a little orange right now, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna um, set my face with this Bobbi Brown powder and basic brown, and that's kind of just gonna dull and take away some of the orangeness, as you can see. Now my skin is a perfect chocolate shade. To prime my eyelids, I'm going to be using the MAC Colon Concealer. I'm going to have the shade in the description box for you. But whenever I prime my eyelids, I try to use something that's really, really light, almost like a white base. Because what this is going to do is that it's going to help the colors pop even more on my lid. This works perfectly if you have, you know, dark lids like I do. Because sometimes the color tends to just blend in with your foundation and it doesn't show up well. So for this look, I'm going to be using my Morphe palettes that I've used quite a lot. <laughs> I'm going to start with this brown shade. And that's going to be like the shade that I'm going to use as like my transition shade. So I'm just going to try to put that all over the outer ends of my eye and just blend in going in circular motion. To cut my crease, I'm going to be using this black pigment and I'm going to place that along where I want my crease cut to be and I'm just going to try to blend it in with my transition color. Okay, so now we're going to begin the cutting the crease process and so all you need is an angle brush and some concealer and you're just going to like cut your crease. This is just going to create a barrier for where you want your glitter to be and you know the dark shade above it. To hold my glitter together I'm going to be using the Too Faced Glitter Glue. This is my favorite glue. I've been using it for like forever now. And I'm just placing that right on top of the concealer. The glitter that I'm going to be using is actually something from this site called Bulk Glitters or Super Glitters. They keep changing their website name. But the shade of the glitter is called Golden Eye. And so I'm just going to begin by placing that all over my lid. Using my favorite high-end luxury mascara, wait no, this is eyeliner, my bad. Ah, it's the Bobbi Brown liner in the color Corbin Black. And I just love how the tip is just like a perfect felt tip. It never dries out, and that's sort of an issue that I used to have with like other eyeliners, but this one stays wet all the off. And then I'm just gonna put on my favorite lashes. I don't remember about who, so yeah, just grab a pair of your favorite lashes. To really make my eyes pop, I'm just gonna put this glitter champagne color in the corner of my eyelid. Okay, moving back to our face, I'm gonna be concealing with the MAC Full On Concealer. Again, I'll put the shade in the description box below. And this is basically all the spots that I'm going to be highlighting, which is, you know, underneath my eye, on the bridge of my nose, underneath my nose, and also my chin. I got a collection of these oval brushes for Christmas, and I'm in love with them. Like, they're my favorite complexion brushes. Like, everything just goes on smoothly with them. I can't believe I've been missing out. Mm -hmm. 
next I'm going to contour with this dark foundation powder that I've gotten from Urban Decay in a shade that's, you know, two shades darker than my actual foundation. And that's the best way to contour basically. Just get something that's two shades darker. And then I'm going to contour really underneath where I contour underneath my eye and bring it up to the temples on my forehead. And then we're just going to be contouring our nose. I tried a lot of different setting baking powders, but this one is by far the best. It is the Bobbi Brown Finishing Loose Powder in the shade Soft Sand. And it does not sit into your pores or give you bad flashback or any of that. It's just amazing. Ooh, yes, girl. We is baking that face. We about to be slayed. We already slayed, but you know. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna brush off the excess powder. And oh my god, I can't believe that I'm just now trying out this blush. But this is the Film Noir blush from Mac, and it is so just perfect and dark like it's even good for contouring but I like my blushes to be like kind of like a dark red or berry color I'm not really into like light pinks so I'm gonna set my face with a matte finishing spray from NYX Cosmetics and I like to set my face right before we highlight and to highlight I'm gonna be using Bobbi Brown bronze glow highlighter it's my all-time favorite This highlight is so pretty. It's like the perfect champagne color for us brown skin baddies. Ooh, it's popping. So to top it all off, I'm gonna be using this lippy from ColourPop. Each color is called Prim, and it's like a dark red, a berry color because I'm not really fond of burnt red but this is like the perfect red thank you for tuning back in my channel slay queens don't forget to thumbs up like this video and subscribe for more tutorials I hope you all have a happy new year's and keep slaying queens